I'm sorry, Miss... Desiree? Desiree Blodgett. I usually just go by the first name if you're wondering where you've heard of me. I haven't. Desiree, diva of desire. No? Well, I'm a whore. A bit renowned. I cultivated an impressive clientele, especially given that I'm not exactly Mitzi Dolty, am I? Oh, men, they like talking to me. It's part of the job, sure, listening, but last few years I get more and more clients, men of stature, real flash. And while we f Oh, Nigel, hat. Anyway, while we f they all got to talk, you know? Things they done or want or mean to do and they ain't exactly priests, well, a couple, but they feel so relieved getting it all out. Except now, they're not so relieved me hearing everything from everyone. And yesterday I find out that one of me regulars, the sweetest little man, is planning on having me killed. How do you know? He told me. During. Crying so hard I thought he was gonna propose, they do sometimes. And you have information on these men? Oh, fuck no, I can't remember a word. I just need a place for me and Nigel till the heat's come off. Who sent you? It's just you're here at a delicate time, and I'm curious who said to come. Uh, my friend. Well, he's a client. I mean, we all talk about this place. Which client, exactly? I'd rather not say. And I don't remember? Do they think I'm an idiot? <laughs> they. We've just been raided, and you come here to get away from the heat. Doesn't really make sense, does it? Though these days, what does? I am an idiot. I'm trying to find someone the beggar king can't trace by looking at fucking street plans. I'm not from here. And everyone wants to see the cops. Bidlow's Bridge cronies, now you. So friendly, on the run. The kid's a bit much, but I like the commitment. And Malady's got no idea what Mary's town can do. Mary is the voice of the... Gal oh. Huh. It's not just men. No. I'm sorry, you was very worked up, and that's when my turn works on people, when they're upset. Put on your coat. Oh, just a couple of nights, please. I forget everything, personal guarantee. And Nigel, don't speak ever. I'm begging you. Put on your coat. fucking touch. She was attacking us. She made me lonely with her mind. Wasn't her mind? You were grabbing out with it. That's just not good enough. Don't let him see you now. Is it?